Okay, I'm here to try out a little some some. Okay, we have all been seeing ads on Facebook, Instagram, etc., etc., for some device, something that's supposed to make our drinking experience better. And inevitably, we see it enough times and we're like, we gotta try it out, right? So, in this particular instance, I ended up purchasing the Vo Chill. Okay, um, so. And apparently it's also was one of Oprah's favorite things one year. So the idea is that you are supposed to be able to enjoy a glass of wine over a long period of time, um, chilled at the appropriate temperature. So what happens is when you get your device, you're able to take this base part off and pop it in your freezer. And this is what freezes, okay? And then when you're ready to enjoy your glass of wine, there's a magnetic connection between the, the very base and this thing that goes in the fridge. And um, you can pour your wine or whatever into your glass and begin chilling. So um, I'm going to use a t test bottle of wine that came out of the um, Total Wine um, Advent calendar because child, my phone gave up life, okay? And got no more storage, so I ain't been able to do my videos. So I figured I'm gonna just multitask while I'm doing this for Lush Talk. So this is a Rebel of Bordeaux by Rebel. So it's a red wine. And the idea, again, um, when you get this, so the, the other thing, there are two different models. So I have the model that fits sort of like your short stemless glasses, right? They also have ones that are for stems. So keep in mind, depending on what you want to get, um, they have those different versions and they range in price. I would actually recommend if you're going to invest in this, getting it directly from Vochil because um, the prices are more reasonable than if you get on like Amazon or something like that from like a second party. For instance, I paid like $45 for mine and on Amazon, it was asking for like 70 something. I said, Amazon, you got me fucked up. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So anywho. All right. So I'm going to take an initial sip of the wine, keeping in mind it has not been chilling yet. Okay. The wine itself is very elegant. I'm not a huge Bordeaux drinker. I love red wines. When I drink red, I tend to go to Malbec's or Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, so a Bordeaux um, is a little bit more abstract for me, but it this is a really good um, tasting glass of wine and of course the one time oh here it is here it is <laughs> almost about to clown so this is 12.5 percent alcohol and what i will say about the total wine advent calendar is all of the wines that i have tasted throughout and i'm on second to last day because it goes to christmas eve have been really superior so whoever is responsible for curating that selection you get an a plus plus this year okay that's an aside okay so i'm letting this chill a little bit um i kind of like the fact that it's detachable you can wash it safely not in your dishwasher hand wash people hand wash and then you can just put that in the freezer and use it anytime before it recommends that you chill at least three hours before this has been chilling overnight so it is ready to go um and I am starting to notice over time that my wine is becoming chilled. I think that, so I bought one, I bought one. I think that I will get another one because I like pears, but I didn't want to get a pear and then this not be cool. But I will say that I'm feeling the chillness and the wine is gradually cooling down. So I imagine I'm sitting my glass in there and I'm watching TV or just like socializing with somebody da, 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 and I pick up my glass and now it's at the temperature I'm looking for. So 
because who who wants to drink a warm glass of wine here's the thing right you only have so much refrigerator space so if you have like particularly like your white wines and stuff like that and you don't have a wine fridge you put your little wine in there you pour your glass you are sitting in front of your television or wherever you are enjoying that glass of wine but over time your hand makes it warm and then it becomes you know, you know it gets like lukewarm and you're like eh, okay let me just chug this real quick because i don't got time for that but this kind of allows you to enjoy your glass of wine um leisurely which is the point like you're not supposed to like brush a glass of wine nobody said chug wine like i mean you can i wouldn't recommend it it's not really for that like wine is that like drink that i imagine you're supposed to just sit there and be like mm -hmm, with your thoughts and just like doing other stuff maybe you're on your computer maybe you're on your phone whatever and doing whatever but having um a leisurely glass of wine as opposed to like rushing through it so overall like i think this is a good investment and i actually do think that i will like i said invest in another one so that i have a pair so if i have somebody over i can be like hey girl you want some chill wine um and then they can they can do that um i don't know if i'm ready to graduate to the stemmed ones um i'm not quite that bougie but i will enjoy it at this level because i i mean i have stemmed wine glasses of course but i'll go ahead and just enjoy that those glasses normal but maybe in the future i will look into investing in that so let me know i hey i would be curious to see has anyone else purchased a bow chill or something like it and would you recommend it to anyone um i think this is a nice gift especially for somebody that is really a, a diehard wine drinker um because like i said it allows them to have like a leisurely glass of wine i think it's very chic i think whoever came up with it is genius because let me tell you what blows my mind. People are like, can you put a couple ice cubes in that? Excuse me? In the wine? Like, you are diluting the wine. What is wrong with you? Like, that is so ghetto. Don't put... Please do not put no ice cubes in your wine. Like, please chill the bitch before you bring... <laughs> my God. Please put it in the, the refrigerator before you do that. Because, my God, in heaven... Do not put no daggone freaking ice cubes in there. I would, I would rather you put whiskey stones <laughs> in your wine glass and let it chill that way than putting some daggone ice cubes in there. So please, people, why don't you try something out like this or, like I said, just, just, just put it in the fridge before. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I digress. I am going to enjoy this glass of wine. I'll see y'all later. Bye.